Kia ora guys, welcome back to another video and already just like that we have gone through the first month, the first month of 2019 so how did it go for you guys? Let me know in the comment section below. For me, pretty good, pretty busy uh, but that's kind of how I like it. So it actually feels like it's been forever since I've done you know, a monthly favourites slash Q&A so it's kind of nice to actually get back to these ones. I really like these videos, they're a lot more chill, more casual. So the first pickup is this amazing blazer. Now this is actually from Bershka, which I was actually quite surprised. Uh, it is a double-breasted one and the colorway is just so nice. This is an oversized kind of more boxier fit. Uh, that's how I do like my blazers, especially if I am dressing up a little bit more. I like it to be a bit more oversized to play it down a little bit as well. Perfect also if I do want to chuck on a hoodie or a sweatshirt or a turtleneck underneath. It allows a lot of kind of like breathing space in between. Now the colorway of this is so nice as well. So we've pretty much got like a cream, a brown, and then I would say it's pretty much just a black pattern in there as well. Like I said, very nice, very nice boxy fit. And this was originally 80 pounds and I picked it up for 40 pounds and it was the last one left in my size uh, extra large I got so very happy with this and can't wait to kind of like start styling and things like that then guys we move on to my next pickup and you're gonna kind of notice a theme in here at least with colors it's very almost like I'm messing up with like autumn colors but I something I want to get into so here is the pickup number two and it is this brown sweatshirt from Cos, size extra large. So if you guys did watch kind of the uh, vintage shopping vlog, um, I mentioned that I want to get into brown a lot more and that's what I'm doing guys. So this sweatshirt from Cos, uh, it was on sale and then I got a hookup from the bro, shout out to you man, uh, for uh, then a staff discount on it as well so I can't remember off the top of my head but I'm pretty sure it came to about 12 pounds so that's a pretty damn good steal in my mind just a standard sweatshirt we used a bit more of a layering effect and definitely when I want to play around with just my tones third up guys and this is from Uniqlo uh, mock neck beautiful color and guys look at this is it gonna focus oh Boom. I got this for under five pounds. Uh, obviously it was on sale. Nice simple mot neck. Again, it's gonna be used as a layering effect. And I picked it up in, what size did I pick it up? Picked it up in a large. I uh, haven't worn it yet, but it's absolutely one of my favorites because I just completely love this colorway. I think it's such a vibe, especially when you are gonna be layering it. So complete vibe, steel, and obviously you guys know Uniqlo. Pretty good quality pieces for very affordable prices. Now guys, out of everything that I've posted on Instagram, if you're not following me at I'm um, Daniel Simmons, plug. This was the most like DM'd item that like about questions I've ever had. And this was the picture right here. And yeah, these are the Uniqlo socks that I picked up and just really, really nice tones. I literally mean guys, I got so many DMs from you guys asking where I got these from. And yeah, they kind of had to be my favorite because of that. I only picked them up, I think it was last week. And yeah, definitely coming into my favorites because I love what socks and that can kind of do for your whole entire outfit. As I did mention in the minimal menswear essentials, socks play a huge part in my opinion of just bringing your whole outfit together, especially when you play with the tone. So I got a very, very nice kind of like a hazelnut brown, very nice kind of like a mustardy yellow. Then it's, it's a very like grayish brown. And then finally finishing it off with a nice kind of like bluey, gray pair of socks too so all tones will go great especially if you guys are wearing your Doc Martens or white sneakers now last but certainly not least at all guys they did a whole video on this a whole how to style could not not put this in this is my Raph Simmons shirt you guys saw the whole video on it if you haven't boom she comes up here uh, yeah absolutely just fire I've actually been wearing it quite a bit more than I thought I would and yeah I still just guys come on like Yes, 100% yes. Don't want to scrunch it up actually. That's better. All right guys, that is it for my monthly favorite pickups. Now let's move on to the Q&A. So you guys, just like always, I post the Q&A question on my Instagram here. Uh, I normally do this like a day or two before I actually film to give you guys time to kind of like ask your questions. Now also to the ones of you who are new, uh, if I don't answer your question and stuff like that, it's normally just because it's being answered in previous Q&A. So feel free to just go back and dive in. 
Other than that, I'm gonna try rattle through as many as I can without making this video too long. So let's get into the first question. Could you do a video focusing on fitness and workouts? Yes, I had done a few of those before. I do wanna get into them a lot more, but that's when I wanna be posting maybe like three or four times a week. Like if I do get into that and making like YouTube a lot more, but more of a full time thing. How to style the Converse black low cuts. Literally black shoes go with anything in my opinion. So whether you're wearing with, you know, blue jeans, black smart pants, even just sweatpants, I feel they go with anything. Maybe just play around with the socks that you're wearing. Either do just go black socks, white socks, or add just a little bit of like color to it if you want. But pretty much black shoes go with anything. Hair routine, yes, I do actually want to do this. Um, I just want to do it in a nice place, like my sink kind of area, sink. My bathroom kind of area, like the lighting is just complete horrible. It'd be cool to do it in a hotel or something like that because like that is, is like real nice and fancy and just clean and they normally have a nice white light and stuff like that. How do you recommend getting the courage to try clothes outside your comfort zone? Uh, pretty much, have you guys seen Three Kings? It's a good movie if you haven't. Uh, so in Three Kings is a really good line. You're scared, right? Maybe. The way this works is you do the thing you're scared shitless of and you get the courage after you do it, not before you do it. It's a good line in it. Um, I just wanted to say that because it reminded me of it. But in all honesty, you know, how do you recommend getting the courage? You just got to do it. It's the only way. The more times you do it, the more comfortable you'll get, the more comfortable you'll get. Um, it's taken me a long time to build up to the point to wear things that I know people won't like and I know people will comment on. I've got a pair of bright pink shoes, guys, which I wore the other day with neon socks. Uh, I know, I see people looking and stuff like that. and. You know, it, it's taken me a while to get there and to just be like, you know, it's cool. Like, we all just get to do our own thing. So, try not to stress about it. There's way bigger problems going on in the world. And it's normally something that you just build up so much in your head. And yeah, you just create that spotlight effect. So, the more you can just relax and just be like, nah, I'm just doing me. Doesn't matter what people say. Then, yeah, that's how you start to get the courage. But just take baby steps, really. Like, each day, maybe just try something a little bit new. A little bit new. Like, I wouldn't suggest to just go all out straight away because then you'll feel very overwhelmed uh, but yeah just keep it up do you and just remember like we've all got different opinions and yeah favorite brand uh, either Cos or Acne Studios I just kind of like all their kind of like minimal everyday pieces how to develop a minimal fashion sense uh, some styling tips and I love your videos so much thank you so much um, I'd suggest watching this video right here and that'll have you covered. How tall are you and how much you weigh? So I'm 180 centimeters, so roughly 5'11", and I weigh between 80 and 82 kgs. Where do you get your hoodies? I get mine from AS Color. Should I wear my grandpa's original army shirt? Hell yeah, like if he's cool with you wearing that, that sounds dope. Like, that's like a proper vintage, like hell yeah. Are you gay? No, I'm not. How to build a closet? So I assume you mean the clothes and not actually building it, because I want to be able to help you there. Now as far as like building it, start with your essential pieces. Um, kind of like, again, I've mentioned in the minimal uh, men's essentials just start with you know really nice minimal pieces and then just go from there is it possible to try too hard fashion wise if you were in school uh no i don't think so do you think doc martens would be an essential even in summer hell yeah definitely i mean they might be a bit warm but i mean i'm gonna wear them if you could only wear one brand which would it be i would have to say cos just because they're so versatile and i do like that whole minimal aesthetic did your current sense of style come from a lot of trial and error or was it natural uh, i came from a lot of trial and error like i've put some together some like terrible outfits and that's just part of it uh now i do know kind of what i like a lot more i still mess it up like i still put pieces together leaving the house being like oh yeah and then you know while i'm out i'm like yeah no i really no that was really stupid uh, but yeah, it's always trial and error and then you just kind of get to know what you like What would you identify more as Kiwi or English? Uh, I would say Kiwi just because that's where like I grew up like it's only been in the last two years that I've moved to the UK um, So yeah, no, I'd say Kiwi when are you coming to New Zealand next? Um, so I'll be coming over to see my parents towards the end of the year So I think I'm gonna be like chilling with my parents for like Christmas and stuff that whole time period so I think I'm gonna be there for a month as well. So yeah, expect some like New Zealand vlogs and fashion stuff as well. Nike or Adidas, definitely Nike. Ever since I moved to the UK, I became Nike, especially in London, Nike, 100%. Did you buy your new camera? No, not yet, but I am going to in the next like month or so, I'm buying my new camera. It's really now just deciding which one it is, but I'm pretty sure I'm getting the A7 III or the A7R III, one of those, Sony. Can you do a Speedo underwear lookbook, hell no. No. Whereabouts in New Zealand were you from? Uh, from Wellington, so the capital, bottom of the North Island. 
How would you layer in summer? Uh, the way I would layer is either with like very, very thin clothing and like playing around with like very, very light like linen type material or accessories like necklaces, things like that. That's how I would layer everything just to add a little bit more detail to an outfit. Do you like common projects or any sneaker in that style? Definitely. The only reason I don't own a pair of common projects is I just can't justify the price point yet even though the material is so good like until my kind of white shoes that i have that are so similar like bust out you know i'm not going to get a pair uh but then i might look at actually investing in one but so far mine have just lasted me so long and i'm not afraid to like mess them up or anything best place to buy an inexpensive overcoat i would say like bershka or asos or zara uh, you can normally get some pretty good steals on them. Bushka always kind of has sales as well. Will you make a day in the life video someday? Yeah, definitely. I actually have a lot more kind of like, I don't, not vlogs, but I have a lot more things like that coming at some point when I start doing three videos a week. Favorite songs right now? It has to be the one I'm like listening to on repeat is um, Middle Child. It's Middle Child, right? Yeah, by J. Cole. So good. It's just so good. The lyrics are so good. How do you edit your pictures? I edit all my photos on Lightroom. Why don't you have Jordan 1s? I just don't like them. They're just not my style. Um, I like, like looking at them, but I don't like them on me. Um, so yeah, that's just me personally. How to get a minimalistic style when you're a fatty guy? Man, fatty... Uh, that's got nothing to do with it bro just you can still dress so dope i've got a few friends who are a bit more on the you know bigger side and they their style's just sick like it's got nothing to do with your size you can still look hella like dapper and sick um you know even if you are a little bit bigger or on that as you said fattier side like just just keep dressing man what are your goals this year uh to keep growing this channel to keep kind of pushing it a lot more and to I've got a few cool things coming that I'm not going to talk about just yet, but everything, a lot more of the stuff is going to be a lot more, I want like, there's going to be a lot more raw stuff, so it's going to be pretty cool. From what I have in mind, it's going to be pretty sick. Do you ever shoot on your own, so you use a tripod and set the timer on autofocus? No. I tried it once and I wanted to break my camera. No, it is a nightmare, like running back and forth to see, nah, I just don't bother with it. I would rather just grab a stranger and be like, can you take this photo? Then use a tripod in that. But if you can make it work for you, definitely do it. But it's just, I, well, yeah, I want to break my camera. You're from New Zealand, but live in London? Yes. Any tips on how to be more confident, especially in a bigger group setting? Uh, there's been a few questions like this pop up. Um, again just focus on doing you and not worrying about what other people think um that would be probably like my biggest thing and just work on that each day what size do you buy cole buxton i can't find sizing charts nowhere uh pants i am a large in their pants and uh, that's just because of the size of my legs um i'd say always go to true to size and tops i just get a large as well true to size for me so yeah that's what i do brands that you think will do well in 2019 um i think cold war uh, with Samuel Ross will do well and I think Dior's men's stuff will do quite well as well. And guys, I'm gonna leave it there because literally my timer went to 30 minutes and it turns off. So yeah, that video shows me that it's already too long. So I'm so sorry if I haven't answered all your questions. If you do have a very nice, important, very nice, important, if you do have a, if you do have a question that you, I didn't answer, leave it down in the comment section below and when I go through, I'll try to answer it again. So yeah, Whew. there we are. <laughs> That is the first monthly favorite slash Q&A of 2019. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Plenty more to come, plenty more content to come and fun stuff, a few announcements to be made soon. So really looking forward to it. So guys, just thank you so much for all the support. I absolutely love it. We are almost at 60,000 subscribers, which is just flipping mad. Um, wow, uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. So thank you so much. Uh, like I said, a few announcements to come. What else, what else? Uh, that's about it. It's a very long video. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, thumbs it up, subscribe if you're new, bell icon, and if you do want to keep up with me on the daily, come follow my Instagram, which is at I'm Daniel Simmons. So it is, guys. I'll let you get back to doing you. Smash this coming month. Keep dressing well, and I'll see you fellas next time. Peace.